Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question delete operation for two strings. In this question we are given two strings word 1 and word 2 and we need to return the minimum number of steps required to make word 1 and word 2 the same. In one step we can delete exactly one characters in either string. Now in the first example we can see that we have string as C and the word 2 is eat. We need to just delete two characters that is S and T and we can make the two strings equal. And similarly in the example 2. Now let's see how we can solve this particular problem. So we have this two strings given to us and if we know the common substring in between these two strings then it would be much more easier to find out the character that we need to delete because if we find out the length of the two string that is 3 in this case and the length of the common string is 1 that is e only the character e is common so what we can do is we can directly minus that length from the two of the strings add the resultant length that we are getting that is 2 so we get the length or the character that we need to delete equals to 4 so if we delete the four character that is s a a and t we can get the two string equal it would be much more easier to find out the longest common subsequence in these two strings now we have already made a video on longest common subsequence and how to find that wherein we discussed the brute force approach than the memoization technique and then with using the dynamic programming so if you want to get a good grasp on that concept please head on to this video which is at the top and also in the description below for the longest common subsequence. Please watch that video first because we will be directly using that code in this video. So now let's try to code this particular approach. So what we need to do is we need to find the longest common subsequence between these two strings that is word 1 and word 2 and whatever length that we get from this particular the answer of this minimum distance method would be the length of word 1 plus length of word 2 minus 2 times of the common length. So we just need to use the longest common subsequence method over here. So we discuss the dynamic programming approach and we will directly copy paste that code over here. So as discussed in the previous video and you have already watched that what we are doing is we are having a dp array and for the length of the two strings we are iterating over it for the value 0 we are doing nothing and if the characters are equal we are adding 1 to the previous value otherwise we are finding the maximum of the two adjacent values that is left and top and at the end we are returning the result at the last cell of this dp matrix so now let's try to run this code so it ran successfully, let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity and the space complexity will be the same of what we have of longest common subsequence that is m into n where m and n are the length of the two string given to us. Now this is using the longest common subsequence but we do not want to just stick to one approach and now we want to see through how we can solve this without using the longest common subsequence how we can directly use this dp array and find out the result so let's first understand that with the help of an example and then we can proceed further and change this particular set of codes in the previous video you must have seen that in the case of the two characters being equal in longest common subsequence we were adding one to the previous two strings that we had and what the result of their longest common subsequence was. In this case the two empty string has nothing in common so the result was 0 and now that the character a and a are equal we are adding 1 to it because of this character being equal so the length increases. But in this question we need not to find out the longest common subsequence we need to find out how many characters do we need to delete when the character are equal we need not to delete anything and whatever that we have deleted up till now we will be just carrying that forward so things start to change in these conditions just a little bit now the second condition that we saw was when the character were unequal 
when the characters were unequal the longest common subsequence remains the same because we do not find any common character and hence we find out the maximum of the two values and put that in the cell but in this example we are finding out to delete a particular character and we need to find out the minimum number that we need to delete so we cannot take the maximum of the two values we need to find out the minimum of the character that we need to delete so we need to delete one more character at this particular cell as the characters are unequal and up till now how many character that we have deleted the minimum of the two we will just add one to it and hence in the previous approach we are finding out the maximum but in this approach we need to find out the minimum one more major change that we saw is for the empty strings now if we have a string given to us that is a string one is something of length but there is no string given for string two in that case we will need to delete all the character that are present in the string one and hence the value in this zeroth index should be equal to the index of the string s1 and similarly in the case when string 2 is given to us and string 1 is in an empty string we are doing that now let's try to understand this particular approach with the help of an example so the first string given to us is c and the second string is eat eat so in the first cell we see that the two characters are not equal and hence we need to delete one more character than what we have already deleted so minimum of the two is one so we add one to it that is two and similarly we will keep on doing that and now comes a condition wherein the two characters are equal so if the two characters are equal whatever we have deleted earlier that will remain the same so we will just put that diagonal value into this cell and move ahead when we fill this whole matrix at the end we will get the answer equal to the number of character that we need to delete in order to make these two string equal to each other so now let's try to code this particular approach so as we will be using this whole lcs method directly we will just copy paste this whole code into this and then we will be making out our changes we will delete this method so as we discussed that if the string is empty we need to put the value equals to the index into this particular position so dp of i comma j will be i plus j and now as there is no continue we will do an lcf over it so if the two indexes are not zero and if the two characters are equal we need to put the value whatever we are getting from the previous strings if not then we need to delete this particular character finding out the minimum of the two indexes and at the end the answer will still lie on the last cell of this particular matrix so we need to change the parameter name let's try to run this code so it ran successfully let's submit this so it got submitted successfully the time complexity and the space complexity still remains m into n you can reduce the space complexity by using a 1d array rather than using a 2d array the basic inception in this case is as we are iterating over this j loop inside this i we are effectively just manipulating one row at a time and hence we can use a 1d array so that is the one thing that is left in this particular question and if you want to try your hands on this code so i'll highly recommend you to try that 1d array approach do let us know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching this video see you in the next one